It's a fake page telling y'all I'm in Taliban paperwork. Just to hear about this, y'all. Why is Taliban out of jail? Don't put me in there. First of all, we ain't even talking about... How is Taliban out of jail? Fuck all that shit you talking about. Taliban the police. I know these niggas. I did not tell Taliban to beef with me. I did not beef with Taliban. Had no beef with Taliban. Taliban popped over that chain and hopped in that beef on his own. So all this, this, that, and the, Taliban been watched for a year and a half. The Homeland Security been watching Taliban before I knew him. I haven't knew Taliban a year and a half. A year and a half ago, I wasn't getting into over no fucking Taliban. I've been getting into Taliban for a year. Not, about, not even a year. Maybe like since the chain. That man don't even got no lawyer. Fuck. That man can't even get a lawyer. Taliban whole life is a lie. Taliban can't get a lawyer. He don't even got a lawyer. Let that sink in your head. These niggas, all this rich shit, all this fly shit, this money shit, this get money shit, he can't even get a lawyer. Fuck. Where's King fully at with the lawyer? Like, where's the lawyer? Instead of them buying them a lawyer, I'm going to show y'all what they doing. Y'all know I know everything. Oh, my mama. Hold on. Taliban right here. Look at his jeans. Look at Taliban jeans. Look at his jeans. Everybody pay attention to Taliban jeans. Now that Taliban locked up, look at y'all man King Fully. King Fully out here wearing all Taliban clothes. Can't even buy that man a lawyer. Y'all, he got his clothes on, though. Goofy ass niggas. Niggas out here wearing his clothes. Niggas out here wearing niggas' outfits. These niggas down bad. <laughs> These niggas are real loud down bad. Niggas go to jail. Niggas start wearing a nigga clothes. Why you stop going live on the main <laughs> jump? I'm gonna go ahead and block you. Sound like you trying to report me. Why you even care about that? How do you feel like you can wear another nigga jeans on Instagram? You say he been spiking drinks since slutty days? He spiked drinks. That's what he do. It ain't my fault. All I'm telling y'all is, Shot Glizzy's so wrong, he can't even say nothing right now. He don't even know how to defend himself. He don't know what to say. He about to come back with a dumbass explanation of why he did it, and that girl gonna have some text messages. That's what y'all don't know. Shot Glizzy ass is in the extortion ring right now. Shot Glizzy gonna say that didn't happen such and such, but he already explained it in some text messages. That shit, it's gonna make Brie look like a liar. And when Brie look like a liar, she will get another interview and start showing text messages. Then Shot Glizzy will get his ass canceled. Shot Glizzy gonna say something stupid to make Brie feel like she pressures Brie. Gonna tell the police on his ass. Shot don't know what to do right now. Shot ass is canceled. Shot can't get out of this. You can't get out of this. It's a white girl. I was fuck with you. You stay white girl, and when I get home, they leave your ass for a white girl. The fuck, one thing I know about it is you can't play with motherfucking powder around here. 
You can fall in love with a white girl, but you cannot whip your dick out on her. Yeah, you in love with a white girl, but you cannot pull her, your dick out on her. I don't give a fuck who you is and what you think going on. It's always nothing destroys the black successful man more than the white woman with the power. I'm just here to tell you, bro. Welcome to America. The black man who think he's untouchable, the white woman always deframe him. I swear to God, bro, your ass is done. You whipped your dick out on the wrong one. I'm sorry for the nigga. I'm just going to apologize for the nigga on her behalf. I don't want no trouble. I don't. Want, I would not wear my dick out on any females. I promise to keep my dick to myself. I promise to never make no girls feel aggressive or anything. The nigga is wrong. The nigga's one hundred percent wrong. I keep saying comments on my DMV niggas do this. That's some DMV. We don't do that. I don't know where he got this from. Then y'all keep on worrying about if he whipped his dick out, if he did this, if he did that. Y'all ain't even listen. The nigga walk around with a special rape pill. Like, the nigga walk around that, bruh, she's a porn star from California. She's seen every fucking pill drug there is in the world. He had a pill she didn't even know what it was. I'm just here to tell you, he got a rape kit. He usually put whatever that pill is. Nobody know that unidentified pill. He usually put that shit in some liquor. But he felt like she was a porn star. She already have sex for a living. So he feel like he could just straight give her the drug. Like, fuck it, he don't even got hide it. Why is his creep ass walking around... With a date rape pill. Why? Fuck the whole situation. Fuck the rape. Fuck the allegations and all that. Why does he got a special bill? Woo creep ass walk around with a special pill for a female to take. Like he don't take it. Just the female take it. Like that's some weird shit. His brain fucked up. The fuck? Them motherfuckers be coming on here from a motherfucking fake page. Keep talking to me about this, that, and the third. I will block your ass. It's that easy. It's like, I don't get it. So, y'all you you favorite rapper walking around with a sex feeling. Y'all mad at me. Why husband news wait that everybody else supposed to? He didn't wait that everybody else supposed to. I made him post that. I told his ass. I said it on live. You ain't post that shock Lizzy shit. He seen me say it. He seen his comments and he posted it. Hoods news is a dick rider. He go with whatever good. He only posted because we said something. Hoods news a clown. Hoods news after this after I drop what I'm dropping on him, he a rap. By the end of his career too. This nigga anything. He got a go for me in this mother bio and on my mother. I ain't even want to be on no funny shit, y'all. Hoods and News bought them followers. I know I got the DMs. He told me. Like, we talk. We have conversations. Hoods and News bought followers to make it look like he got his page back to keep his promos going on, y'all. Hoods and News got edge. Y'all getting work for real. Go get a Hoods and News post and see your ass don't get no comments. Your ass don't get nothing. You ain't never get posted on Hoods and News. You can't even get a thousand views with four comments. Just think about it. He hitting them other posts, bruh. The fuck? That man lost his pages, bro. That man probably got 3,000 followers. No cap. I swear to God, that big-ass page with the 900, I mean, with the 90,000 followers, that jump probably got 300 followers, bro. 3,000 at the most. I swear to God, my grandmother, bro. These niggas running for Nessus, bro. He trying to make it seem like he just, he can't miss his promo, bro. That page don't hit the hardest no more. That Hudson News page is not the same. That don't do not hit like it used to hit. That jump some shit. What you talking about? That nigga, them pages fake as shit. Them fake ass followers. That shit ain't real. None of that shit real. He still got that page, and I know he still got that page. That's what you think. That's what you think. That's what that's what's in your head. That page just popped back up like he had it on private. No, the fuck he didn't. That's a fucking fake page. He went and bought the followers, reduplicated the page with the same fucking name, bro. That is not the fucking page. I had two Bob and GMG pages. I know how this shit work. We conversated about it. The nigga, the page is fake. Go run through the likes. Go look through the likes. Look through the comments. The shit don't even add up. Go look at the old hoods and news posters. Go back to the bottom of that page and see when them pages started. Well, he couldn't show you a post from that old page. What? Tell him, tell him, show you a post from that old page. You can go back to when that page started, bro. Ain't no old posters on that shit. Like, that shit is eggs. That shit is box. That shit is for you. 
to keep his money flowing. He didn't know how to recover. He didn't. He not Aunt Glizzy. He can't get his followers back. He don't know how to do it. DC artist lost six pages. You think Hudson News ain't lost hands? He lost hands. He ain't get him back. He don't got no money to go get them pages back. His ass bought them pages back. You know how he bought them back? He bought the followers. He had 90K. He bought 90K. And said that motherfucker going on private because he got strikes. No, it wasn't. He was just sitting right there trying to build that joint up from his other page. Go follow. Go follow. He got like 3,000 real followers. They say you just be making stuff up. How the fuck I just be making stuff up, bro? What's made up, bro? Hoods and News got almost 100K followers. And ain't none of them don't bigger. Ain't none of his pages bigger than none of mine. None of them. Not one of mine. None of his pages do more than none of mine, not one of them. He got 100K followers, he got 90K followers. Cuz the news page ain't bigger than the real Bob's son, Bed TV, Bob's son TV. It ain't bigger than none of these. We can cut the impressions on right now. Tell him hit his impressions, I hit mine on any page. I hit my, my impressions on this page bigger than Hoods News. I keep bluffing. That shit bullshit. That shit fake. Tell him cut his live on. It's going to be 40 people over there. He got 100K followers. He only can get 40 people on live. That shit going to look iffy. If 40. I'm going to say 25. He had to think of a way back. I just ain't put him on blast. Lemon the same way. Lemon to lose his page and pop up with 33K out of nowhere. They buying that shit back, bro. They trying to keep up. We can do a free promo deal. I make y'all a deal. Get hoods and news to post somebody, and I'll post somebody. Y'all pick what page I post y'all from. I bet you the reaction you get from my page and you get from him be totally different, bro. Because his ass ain't got no followers. I was looking at that today. Hood's news asked for promo money to pay the rent. That's because that Jonah, it don't that page don't hit the same behind the scenes. That shit don't hit the same. And YouTube got some new shit. Don't you know where everybody think they can monetize their YouTube and just go do that shit? YouTube got some new shit for the creators. You can barely monetize shit. Like you got to stop cursing. You got to edit that shit. You got to real life put some time in. You can't even do a rock of shit. Like some new shit going on. Like it is what it is. And promos go up for show. Man, you know we locked in. I'm getting a studio. I'm supposed to pay for my studio at the end of the week. I'm supposed to pay for this shit. I'm at my own studio. I'm doing all content, YouTube content on my own studio, bro. Just, just for me. I need rugs. I need that motherfucker decked out. I'm about to have streams in there. I'm about to be twitching on them. I'm the Southeast Mr. Beast. It's the difference between followers and followers. Ain't you got a bigger following? Aunt Glizzy should not have a bigger following than DMV Hoods and News, but it's the whole DMV. That's every rapper. Send new designs. All right, I got you. DM me so the page already be in my DMs and I already know what to do. 